What's up, YouTube? Smooth Cat back today, and I'm here to present you guys with my show, Forgotten Fighters. And the guy I chose today is Pete Rodemaker. He um, he's a former Olympic gold medalist. He also is one of um, one of the very few guys to challenge for the heavyweight championship in his pro debut. And he, um, like I say, he he, he was um, a heavy like oh, I, I mentioned that already. Excuse me, ladies and gentlemen, bumbling on words a little bit. Bear with me, but as an amateur rodemaker, he he has seventy nine amateur fights. He went seventy two and seven. He also won a series of tournaments, including um, the 1949, 1951, 1952, and 1953 Seattle Golden Gloves. He lost in 1950 to Zora Folly, who, um, who he wound up facing a couple of times in his career. Also, um, he won the U.S. Amateur Championship as a heavyweight in 1953, avenging that loss to uh, Zora Folly. He also captured the Chicago Golden Gloves, the All the All Army Championship, and the Service Championship in 1956. Before qualifying for the Olympics, and once he got in the Olympics, it was held in Melbourne. He captured the gold medal by defeating Joseph Nemec and by KO in the second round. Don Becker. Uh, D Don, uh, sorry if I'm ruining his name, but uh, he KO'd him in three rounds. And Lev Mookin, he KO'd him in one. Rademaker also, um, he attended college. He played offensive line on uh, on the football team for the Washington, for Washington State. But after winning the gold medal, Rademaker start he he started saying that that he would become the uh, the world heavyweight champion in his first professional fight, and he was so impressive with, with going through the Olympics. He actually he ha he made people believe believe in him enough to lure uh, Floyd, the current he the heavyweight champion at that time, Floyd Patterson, and to uh, defend his championship against the uh, against him in his pro debut. It is. And also, that is the only time, the only time to to date at that time that a fighter was making his professional debut, challenging for the heavyweight championship. The bout was refereed by a former light heavyweight champion, Tommy Lugron, who also himself had contended for the heavyweight crown once, versus Primo Canero in 1934. In the fight with Patterson, Rademacher dropped him in the second round. But Patterson recovered, and he got up to defeat Rademacher in the by knockout in six. But later on in his career, Rademacher went on to fight Zora Folly, Brian London, George. <gasps> oh, excuse me, George Chavalo, Buddy Terman, and he fought the former world light heavyweight champion Archie Moore. He lost to Archie Moore, getting knocked down eight times in that fight. He uh. He also he lost to Folly and London, and then he beat George Chavalo. He beat Clark and Terman. His last professional bout was against uh, the former middleweight champion, Carl Bobo Olsen, and he beat him by a decision. His, um, his professional record, he had 15 wins, eight of those wins coming by way of knockout and seven by decision. He had seven losses. Six of those losses by knockout, one uh, and one decision loss, and he also had a draw. But overall, like I say, his he he was he was one of those he he was the type of fighter he he was very he was a he was a fan friendly guy he he, he liked to come come for he always he always put forth a, a great fight he all always he always tried his best. 
So even if he lost, but um, he had a fight with a guy named Ralph Schneider, and he ended up TKOing Ralph Schneider in the third round. But the um, the the memorable thing about that fight is that Rocky Marciano, the uh, the former undefeated heavyweight champion of the world, was the referee of that fight. But um, to look after boxing for him after retirement, he went into business at McNeil Corporation in Akron, Ohio. He retired as the president in 1987 and 1996. He and two of his daughters helped carry the Olympic torch around the streets of Cleveland, Ohio. Rademacher is active in local politics in, Med in Medina County, Ohio. He is well known in northern Ohio for the amazing gasoline-powered power one wheel unicycle he rides and local parades so like i say overall Ryder michael was a very very solid fighter very accomplished he was an olympic gold medalist and i mean he he, he, he was a solid contender he he, he 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 was a good fighter he uh he had higher expectations he didn't reach all his expectations but he gave his all and, and every fight that he was in, so I mean, you can't necessarily knock him for that because back in those days, it was it was actually hard to win a world title, whereas now it's it's a lot more easier. But with that said, ladies and gentlemen, to um, not gonna keep you guys too much longer. Just just giving you a a brief run through of, of Mr. Pete Rademacher on the Forgotten Fighter show, so hopefully you guys hit the like button for me, leave comments in the comment section, I'll definitely get back to you at my earliest convenience, also hit the subscribe button on, on the Colossal Boxing Talk YouTube channel, and to show us a little more love and support, go to Facebook, hit the like button for us on the Colossal Boxing Talks page, go to Twitter and Instagram, and you can follow us at Colossal CBT, I'm Smooth Cat, and I'm out. Oh yeah, you know that we knock 'em down. Colossal boxing, colossal boxing, colossal boxing.